Luther versus Mayes. None can escape my fury. I will fight with honor. So I think normally I do keep the prelate. But I do have a Christology, which makes it pretty easy to just draw into it. So maybe I just toss it, try to find another card. Rogue is a really bad matchup, because after you build a giant prelate, they can just sap it. Um, I think Rogue is, like, one of the main reasons that this deck might not be viable. Sure. Wouldn't be turn two against Rogue if they didn't have that thing to coin out. I wonder if I should Blessing of Kings this Acolyte. Kill this thing, draw a bunch of cards. Sure. I'm not sure that it's a good idea to waste a buff for my Prelate, but like I said, the Prelate gets sapped. It's kind of hoping that he might sap the Sacolite. Could cast Prismatic Lens, but I'll overdraw. Let's draw with Flash of Heal and then just play Peacekeeper. So there's... Oh, I already had an equality to go with the Pyromancer. But that's a second equality to go with my Consecration. Probably just need to pyro quality this board. I drew the second prelate. Um, I'd probably like to try to give both of them taunt with Defender of Argus. That way after he saps one I have another one with taunt. But I currently don't really have the buff cards to support that. So, not sure how good that'll be. So do I have to just, like, cast a Shrink Ray because of this Edwin? It also makes my Shrivala playable next turn, which is nice. Yeah, let's go Shrink Ray. Should I just play a Prelate? Sure. I mean, it, like, lines up nicely against this board. So I could go Consecration, kills these, I can trade into here, and then I could Shervala this thing. Could also just go Prelate Argus, doesn't really seem to line up that well. I can even sneak this into the Shervala turn. I think I like that line. Shrivala on an empty board is actually not that easy to deal with. You can't really sap it because it costs zero mana. I have seen one Eviscerate already. Looks like this is probably a second one though. This guy's no? Is he gonna have to eat seven? Okay, fair enough. How many of those has he played? Like four of that specific lackey this game? It's pretty crazy. 
All right, there's the prelate. So call to adventure. I mean, it finds an acolyte or a peacekeeper. Probably don't want to play it here. Let's just taunt up the prelates. He's getting pretty low on cards. I might find a lot of breathing room with a Pyro Equality play soon. Or maybe even just a Pyro. Pyro Call to Adventure. Kill everything but the Ooze. And then, let's see, this one's a 2-4, the other one's a 4-6. There's certainly no reason to play the Equality, right? Do I just play both of these? It's kind of bad if I pick up another buff card. I'd probably rather make a dude. So as of right now, I have to run both the weapon and the ooze into this 4-6. Wait, maybe the 2-4 was better because of that, because he had to run the weapon in first. Well, oh well. Here we are. So he's gonna bump the ooze and then bounce the lackey generator. Okay. Wow, bounced the doomsayer. Okay. Well, at least he has a useless card in his hand. I'm really good at drawing these prelates. I'm just going to go in on the Argus. He's really low on cards. He kind of needs like both saps to really wreck me here. If he does have both saps, that means I can never taunt my prelates again, which sucks. Jesus Christ. I mean, my board is still pretty big compared to his, I guess. I could just draw my other Consecration, that'd be great. Shrink Ray, not so much. I could have, like, bumped into this, and then the Treant and the 5-drop that come out, I could have Shrink Ray, but that shrinks my Prelate, which I don't want. How much is this, worth to you? this is a Doomsayer in his hand, right? I do like me a Zilliax. Do I ever Shrink Ray here instead of playing Zilliax? What is Shrink Ray good against in his deck? I've seen Edwin already. I think I just like playing the Zilliax. Kill this guy, kill this guy. Well, that was a good draw, huh? I have a lot of good draws myself, though. I have a couple pieces of card draw. Well, that's not a good draw. I have a couple pieces of card draw. Consecration's good. Any of my buff stuff is good. I would just buff up a recruit. The prelates are good, obviously. Consecration does some okay work. Alright, I'm just gonna make a dude here. If he survives, I'll give him lifesteal. That should be pretty good. But I think there's a good chance he's getting sapped here. I'm actually not even entirely sure that this guy is playing sap, because the Burgle package he's playing is a lot of cards. 
But Sap is a damn good card, so I should probably assume it's in there. Do I want a Consecration here? I'm gonna Life Seal up to 14. He's showing 5. I could be dead to, like, Leroy Double Deck Hand. But I was dead to... No, I guess I wasn't dead to Leroy that turn. I guess I should give this Life Steal and then just trade instead of going face. I'm pretty close to killing him, but I think I can maybe just outlast him at this point. Especially with two board clears, or a board clear and a pseudo board clear in my hand. What would be the nuttiest thing he could get? Tyrion, probably. Shrink Ray's pretty damn good. But it's not, like, crazy good, I guess. Would have been a lot better on a Prelate than on that guy. Speaking of a Prelate... Draw it. Play it. Give it lifesteal. Hope I don't get sapped. Okay. He's either super unlucky or he just doesn't play sap. I think that's a fine matchup if they don't have sap. I think the only priest deck I've played against in like a week is the Chef Nomi deck. Yeah, and I don't know how I feel about the Chef Nomi deck. I play two Equalities and two Shrink Rays, so I probably just win this matchup. I probably even just keep a Shrink Ray. Of course, he could always just be another Priest deck. Oh, this deck can play Silence, though, can't it? That's annoying. I mean, I beat the Nomi deck anyway, but if it's a different Priest deck, it can play Silence. I'll play the Prelate this turn, because it curves into Blessing of Kings. Okay, Northshire Cleric and Wild Pyromancer, so that tells me nothing about his deck. Okay, this is the Chef Nomi deck. So my priority is just draw as many equalities and shrink rays as possible. I need three. Actually, I probably need four, because I need to beat the Grave Horrors as well. So I just need to draw my whole deck. Which means my best draw is probably Christology to find Acolytes. His cleric was already damaged, so making a dude there didn't matter. If it was a 1-3, I would not have hero-powered. Alright, there we go. Show me some Acolytes. Two Acolytes. Nice. You can potentially make me overdraw here, but it'd be really hard. I actually don't... Well, I mean, it could be a second Pyromancer. That wouldn't be that hard. Outside of second Pyromancer, though, I don't think he can. I can make him overdraw. I can make him draw three cards with Pyro, Double Light Forged, and bump this in. It also draws me two cards. Might be worth it. Circle of Healing just cycles. Oh, that's rough. Okay. Um, I can still make him overdraw two cards, as well as drawing three cards myself. Makes me overdraw, huh? 
That's fine. Okay, shrink ray number two. Well, it's not overdrawn equality. Power word shield was not the hit I was looking for. Auctioneer. I mean, like, making him overdraw the auctioneer slows him down, but I also made him draw four cards, or three cards. So, not really very good. Let the pain speak to me. I have another Pyro in my deck, so I can make him overdraw a lot more. It's probably not worth it at this point, though. Oh, my quality. That was the best card in my deck. I guess I'm just going to play Zilliax here. It's really hard for me to just get stuff out of my hand. I guess I can spend this turn buffing up a Prelate. I don't really love putting more stuff in my deck because it makes it more difficult to draw the good stuff, but get some cards out of my hand. Here's a Grave Horror, the first of many threats. He still has a Silence, so even if I Peacekeep this, it uh, might just come back and hit me. Let's draw some cards. Not really what I was looking for. None of my prelates have lifesteal yet, do they? I don't think that matters. I want to get this card out of my hand so I can play Acolyte. Next turn is maybe just like... Well, I can't even really play Pyro Acolyte in the same turn. Because I don't have any cheap enough spells. I guess this one's cheap enough. Alright, there's the Silence. Man, if I have to Shrink Ray this board... I, I just can't shrink ray this board. I'm pretty sure I can't win if I do that. Alright, let's play this guy. I've seen both silences now, so I just make this guy big and give him taunt. Oh, he does have lifesteal. I do not remember giving this guy lifesteal. I'm happy I did, but I don't remember doing it. Okay, that's just a straight up kill. Oh, that's not the good one. I have to shrink ray to not die, but then I just can't beat the wave of Nomis. So screwed. Maybe on the final wave of Nomi's, I can like play the Prelate, Shervala into one, Peacekeeper another. Maybe that'll be good enough. Doesn't seem like it will be. I can still damage my Acolyte, right? So this isn't a big deal. Oh, I can't attack with it, right. Um, I can Pyromancer. Pyro, Call to Arms. Or, uh, Call to Adventure, not Call to Arms. I could Argus this, but I believe it's still at zero since he dropped it by two. Like 
Oh, let's just do this. This call to adventure actually fetches my peacekeeper, which could be good. This guy's 14, so he takes three six sixes to kill. So what's he got left? Auctioneer, Nomi, Double Seance, maybe another Soul Priest. I can double consecrate here. I row AoEs for one. This guy can kill one. This prelate doesn't have taunt or anything. I missed my hit with the Acolyte. I think this is okay though. My taunts block five of these. Oh, actually if there's a soul priest in his hand, they only block four. Okay. He would have soul priested there, right? I can double consecrate here and kill most of this. I got the best deals anywhere. Oh, the problem is if I double consecrate, I can't clear with my equality. So I can't do that, right? But I can single consecrate, play Shervala, and then play my mm. Prelate again. I think this makes more sense than just burning the prelate here. This board isn't really a threat to me. His hand is double Nomi, and I don't know what the other two cards are. Could be an Akanai. Could be like a Shadow or Death, but he'd cast Shadow or Death here, wouldn't he? Where's the add in Fatigue too? So I have two cards left in deck. I mean, I just equality consecrate, and then Prelate just kills him next turn, right? I don't even have to worry about the Shrink Ray. But like, even if the Prelate doesn't kill him, I could just Shrink Ray his Nomi board, take seven a turn, it's not that big a deal. Alright. Wow, I was so stressed about, like, overdrawing that one equality, and then I didn't even need the Shrink Ray I started with. Weird matchup. I played a handful of games with this Immortal Prelate deck, and after playing those games, I honestly don't have that much to say about it. The deck seemed very okay, but it gets absolutely wrecked by Silence or Sap or Hex. And I don't really know that there's any way you can avoid that. You can maybe consider playing like a Faceless Manipulator. So if you're against Shaman, you like play your Prelate and Faceless it, and then you have a total of three Prelates. They can only Hex two of them, and you can still try to go infinite. But the thing is, Prelate plus Faceless is seven mana, and you don't really have any significant way to buff it for the other three mana. So if you just play like two 1-3 Prelates, 
they can just ignore them until you start buffing one, and then they hex that one. But if you go like Prelate Blessing of Kings, then they can just hex it before you can Faceless Manipulator it. So I'm not even really sure how much Faceless helps the matchup. But I guess it is pretty easy to copy the Call to Adventure buff, which is nice. And it's probably your best bet as a tech card against, like, Control Warrior that plays one Owl or something like that. So maybe you could, like, cut a Prismatic Lens for a Faceless or whatever. But other than that, I think the list looks pretty solid. I did sometimes feel like I had too many cards in my hand and couldn't really play any of them. And I think cutting the Prismatic Lens also makes sense for alleviating the hand size issues. But yeah, the deck seemed okay, it just seems like it gets kind of wrecked by Sap and Silence.